Hey everyone, yet another video featuring the YubiKey. Today we're gonna to talk about how to securely log into Mac OS. So if this is something you're interested in, then stick around. So there are three requirements in order to get this done successfully. First, you have to be running Mac OS High Sierra or later. You have to be logged into an admin account when configuring this, and you need to install a program called the YubiKey Manager. Now, I've already installed this program, but you can go ahead and download it from the yubico.com website. I'll put a link down in the video description. Okay, so I have Yubico Manager launched and we're on the home screen and we're gonna come over to the Applications menu. We're gonna click on PIV. Now, Mac OS Login relies on PIV, which stands for Personal Identity Verification Based on Certificates. Now, you can see here that we don't have any certificates loaded, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get this set up on Mac OS. We're just gonna come over here and click on Set Up for Mac OS. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna click on Set Up for Mac OS. Now, it's asking us for the management key. By default, we're gonna use the built-in management key and click OK. Now, we're gonna enter a pin. For the simplicity sake of this video, I'm just going to enter one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the default pin. You can change the pin using the pin management option. Let's go ahead and click OK. We just received the message to remove and reinsert the YubiKey, so I will do that now. On my other screen, I wish I could show this to you. I'm getting a message that is asking us to do a smart card pairing, so I'm going to go ahead and click on pair. And here you can see now it did pop up on this screen. Do you want to connect the inserted smart card for the current user? And I'm going to go ahead and say pair. Now it's asking for my computer password. Now it's asking for the pin. And now the keychain wants the password again. And we should be successfully paired at this point. Okay, now that the pairing is completed, let's go back to the YubiKey Manager app and let's click on Applications and go back to PIV. And now you can see here before where we had no certificates loaded prior to the pairing, now we have two certificates loaded. Let's go ahead and click on Configure Certificates. And you can see we have one under the Authentication tab and another under the Key Management tab. Okay, so there you go. You can see it's not all that difficult to set up a secure Mac OS sign and using a YubiKey and the YubiKey Manager software. However, what happens if you don't get that pairing prompt during the configuration process? It has been known to happen and it may happen to you. It didn't happen to me, fortunately, but if it should happen to you, I wanna share with you these three terminal commands so that you can get around that obstacle. The first thing you need to do in the terminal is check to see if the pairing is enabled by typing in that first command that I have here in blue. Now don't worry, I'll put all these commands down in the video description, so not to worry. If it is actually disabled, go ahead and type in the second command that you see in blue to enable it. And then once you have it enabled, go ahead and trigger the pairing prompt by typing in that third command in blue. Now, that said, there is a way to completely disable the password login, locking down the macOS login to just strictly using the YubiKey, but I'm going to save that for a fourth video, probably next week's video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go ahead now and test it and see if it actually works. I'm gonna lock the screen. I'm hitting Control-Command-Q, and now you can see we're being prompted for the pin. And there you can see we're successfully logged in. At this point, we can log in with our PIN when the YubiKey is inserted into the computer. When it's not in the computer, we should be able to, at this point, still log in using the computer's password. Let's test that out by locking the screen and removing the YubiKey. And now you can see it's prompting me to enter the password. Let's go ahead and do that. and you can see we could still log into the computer using the password. Okay, so I hope you found some value in today's video. Next week, I'm gonna show you how to disable the password login, locking down the Mac to using only the YubiKey. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. 
and I want to thank you as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.